Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to add a cinematic effect uh, to any of your photos. Uh, and as you can see here with this image from the WRC World Championships, the World Rally Championships, uh, I've made it look like an image still, uh, like a, a cinematic still. And I'm using uh, a little clever adjustment layer called uh, Color Lookup. If you've been on a few of my other tutorials, uh, you will have seen it, me uh, using them before. Okay, and what this does is it adds tone to your image uh, using a set of pre-installed um, pre effects. Uh, yeah, and they've been used quite a lot throughout the uh, film industry, I'm led to believe, and uh, they're really quick to apply. Uh, and it makes it a little bit more believable by adding these uh, black rectangles uh, at the top and bottom, like, uh, like you would in a movie scene. So, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So, I just grouped the effects there, I'm going to take them away. I'm going to ditch them. Okay, so whatever image you want to use, uh, like I said, I'm using this uh, this image from the World Rally Championships. It can be anything. I've, I've used it uh, with my little boy running around the garden. I made it look like a film still. Uh, again, it can be any, any image. Try and get a high resolution photo. If it's coming from your camera uh, or your phone, it, it usually is. Or if you're getting it from the internet, internet uh, just do a Google search and get a high res image. Uh, but the first thing we'll do is, okay, we've got our background layer, which is this image. Okay, and we're just going to create a new layer. So we're going to go to this little icon down the bottom next to the trash can and click that. And it creates a layer. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this layer with black. Now there's a couple of ways I could do that. Uh, so I'm going to show you. So you press G on your keyboard and that's a shortcut for the paint bucket tool. Now if the paint bucket tool is not uh, showing showing there, hit G, okay, and you might see the gradient tool or the 3D material drop tool, uh, but today I've, I've selected the uh, the paint bucket tool. Uh, next we've got our uh, our colours here, a little palette, okay, and I'm going to press D on the keyboard, and what that does is it sets it to black and white, and you can change that over, so for, for press X. Uh, now if these are already selected, um, all you simply can do is just click, and it's going to fill your image. Press Command Z, it'll take me back. Control Z, or alternatively, if you're just in the Move tool and you've got black set there, you can press Alt on your keyboard and backspace, and it'll fill it. Likewise, you press Control or Command. I'm I'm using a Mac, so I press Command and backspace. It'll fill the back color there. But for today's uh, today's video, okay, we're going to uh, fill this layer uh, black. Okay, next we're going to go to Filter. And we're going to add some noise. So we're going to, go to filter noise and add noise. Set the amount to 100. Set the distribution to uh, Gaussian, and make sure monochromatic is ticked. Again, if you're using uh, older versions, that, mine's a couple of years old now. My version, I've not updated it. If you uh, using older versions, it, it should still look uh, something similar, CS6 and below. I've been using since CS2, and it it does change, but it's roughly uh, still still there. So click OK. Now I'm going to change the uh, the blend mode, which is this box here. So these uh, these presets here are blend modes, and what these blend modes do, if I just click, so we're going to go to overlay. It uh, interacts with the pixels below. So I've selected overlay, and the opacity, so how much you can see of it. I'm going to drop down to initially 75%. Uh, sorry, wrong, 15%. I'm going to uh, maybe uh, maybe adjusting that uh, a little bit more. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, next I'm going to go to uh, down to this little uh, feature here for an, uh, an adjustment layer. Okay, I'm going to select color lookup. Once I've selected color lookup, where it says abstract, okay, I'm going to select golden blue. Something may pop up. Just ignore that. Okay, uh, golden blue. I'm going to close that. And this opacity I'm changing to 75%. Again, I may change that in one second. Okay, now I'm going to add a second color lookup adjustment layer. So I'm going to click this, uh, this little icon down here. And again, I'm going to select color, channel, uh, sorry, color lookup. Where it says 3D LUT file. Okay, I'm going to go down 
to film stock and this is in older versions as well this uh, this preset uh, now initially it is a little bit too much for my liking so you can just play around with it maybe down to 20% but um, I'll come back to that in a minute okay next we're going to add some rectangles so as a keyboard shortcut okay I'm going to press U and again this, uh, this box here gets featured on your toolbar okay if it's not there you may have the eclipse tool or the polygon tool just uh, click on it and hold it and then this uh, this drop down menu will appear and select the rectangle tool and for this particular image if I just zoom out a little bit this particular image I'm going to cover the helicopter so I'm just going to drag and drop now if you're using an older version of uh, Photoshop I do believe it uh, can be constrained uh, so I think you may have to hold shift on my version uh, if you hold shift it will grow in proportion uh, which will cover quite a lot in, uh, in my tutorials just going back uh, before there just make sure at the top menu in case you're having any problems you've got shape selected the fill is black the stroke has got a red line through there to signify you're not using any sort of stroke uh, and the stroke is goes around the uh, around the around the around the shape so I'm just going to drag there and I am happy with that now while I've got the rectangle uh, layer selected I'm going to press command T okay it's going to bring up these uh, boxes I'm just going to drag it down to the top it should lock in and I'm going to click V now why I've done that is because I'm now going to get this layer and I'm going to drag it down onto the new layer icon and it copies it or you can press command J and that will copy it or control J. And I've got two layers here I'm going to take one and I'm just simply going to drag it down to the bottom and we have our cinematic effect. Now I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and just this one a little bit smaller as well there we go that's a bit better just because the uh, the bottom bumper okay uh, if you select the background layer again okay and what we're going to do now is add a curves layer okay so now this curves layer is only going to affect the background layer because it's directly above it it's not going to affect these layers above it because if you imagine a stack of layers on top of this layer here, okay, this layer is right is one from the bottom, and it's only going to affect the bottom layer. I'm just going to select the middle, and I'm just going to drag down to something I like. It just brings out some shadows. There's loads of tutorials on the curves, curves layer, but don't get yourself washed down on it just yet. There we go. And there we go, nice and simple, uh, quick fire tutorial on uh, how to add, add a cinematic effect. Again, if you're, uh, if you're unhappy, you think it's a bit too dark, again, you can just adjust that layer there. And again, if you think the noise is a little bit too much, you can reduce that. But uh, yeah, I'm more, more than happy with that. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, I'm aiming to, uh, on my channel, just uh, incorporate a few, few other quick fire uh, tutorials that you can follow along with. I uh, don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning, but this is one of the first tutorials that I learned, um, or one of the first little tricks that I learned when I uh, discovered Photoshop uh, many years ago. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's fantastic. Really love it. Really, it's a really good effect that I like uh, like adding to my photos. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, uh, please hit the like button, share, and uh, if you want to follow some more tutorials, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.